कमर उड़ गया सामने is the oxygen of the wind because with uh, with uh, don't have uh, uh, oxygen you don't live about two minutes with water is possible one day two day three days four days the second element very secret element water if you see a wrong cnt pong and water you see a half a lot this is more important element for this doing this temples It's a really good example of Inca engineering because the water flows right into the middle of that depression. In order to achieve that, the flow has to be exact, the angle has to be exact, and the dimensions of the little canal have to be exact in order to do that. So that's, you know, I do, some people don't like the, local people don't like the idea that I say the Inca didn't build the megalithic stuff, but they didn't, you know, it's illogical. So what I try to stress is what the Inca were capable of doing. And water movement, because of agriculture, was one of their, or actually their strongest trait. Okay, so here, this mountain is the masculine aspect because the Inca were very big into duality. So you have the male, and then you have the female. And how you determine that is you see the building on the left up halfway that's the temple of Viracocha or the temple of Tunupa same person then on the right hand side you see that other big structure that is a storage facility for corn and potatoes because the wind always blows here it's a natural air drying thing and then further to the right is the military. And they're located there because if anyone tried to attack this site, obviously the military could tell that they were coming. And the light's not great, but if you look in between those two buildings, you'll see there's the profile of a human head. There's an eye, there's a mouth with a tooth in it, if you look on top, there's a little temple, like a crown. So that's the profile of Viracocha, or Viracochin, or Tanupa, and notice that he has a beard. The easiest way to look at it is to zoom right in, and you'll see it's a profile of a face, the nose is missing. And then the reason why this is female is because this is where you have all the food growing. So it's a balance of the two. Winter solstice, midday, the sun shines down and casts a shadow on one of these knobs. And so what the Inca did is they created that little groove there and that the next year they knew that that was winter solstice. So they just, they utilized the visual effect of what this thing was doing already and made, made it pragmatic for themselves. Have you seen saw marks around Bolivia? I mean, No, you don't see tool marks of any kind. Keep running. It's <laughs> crazy, yeah. It is crazy. Anyone knows about it.
So here you have big megalithic blocks with little ones as filler. This would not be something that the megalithic builders would have done. This is clearly an Inca reconstruction. Because here we have the big wall of the Sun Temple and you can see that it's all stones that still fit together. So it was used by the Inca. The high Inca would rest here, and then his Koya, his first wife, would be here. And then the highest of the virgins of the sun would be here. But it doesn't mean that the Inca, in fact, constructed it, as you can see. Waka. Nyaupa, very ancient. Waka temple. This is the Andean Chacana, Andean Cross. In this time, the people, uh, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se han inspirado? ¿No? Se han inspirado en la Cruz del Sur, que está en la constelación. They were inspired in the, in the southern cross. Esto es para recibir la llave. This is a place for the El 3 de mayo, on May 3, se alinea Eh, la Cruz del Sur con este templo. La primera puerta para dejar el cuerpo. La segunda puerta para dejar el ego personal. Y la tercera puerta para entrar en espíritu. ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo a la preparación de cada persona, podía viajar en los diferentes, eh, eh, en las diferentes, en los diferentes puntos eh, vibracionales. Thank you. 